Hey, welcome to the channel. My name is Stephen Crone. Uh, I just want to talk today a little bit about um, why I enjoy carrying this 12-year-old camera with me everywhere I go. So if you're not familiar, this is the Leica M240. Uh, it originally was released back in 2012. Um, definitely one of the older digital Leica M's out there. But I just want to give you a couple of reasons why I think it's still a great camera even in 2023. First one is like the design. So Leica hasn't really altered their design aesthetic, you know, much since they originally released the first Leica M's, which I think it started on the M3, not the M2. I think. But since the original uh, first M was released, they haven't really altered the design, right? So again, you have this, you know, the same bottom plate design outside of I know the new M11s, a little bit different, but. <laughs> Uh, the original bottom plate, right, is still on this, which is really, really cool. Um, I've never owned a film like an M, but uh, it's really cool to have that kind of tactile feel of like removing and getting to the battery compartment, getting to the SD card slot, which is really, really cool. I'm glad that they kept that, especially on this one. The other thing is, uh, you know, the materials that they use in this are just so great. Uh, it's still made out of brass, so by no means is this necessarily like a light camera, um, but what's really cool about the brass, it just adds that premium feeling you know just it adds some weight and some heft to the camera and it just just feels really really great in your hands um, there's not a lot of plastic on it which so it just makes it feel you know, really high quality and that it'll stand the test of time I have often thought about if there was a zombie apocalypse I would just you know swing this at something because yeah, it's super it's pretty hefty holy crap Lennon's a zombie <laughs> Uh, I don't know what the weight is, I'll put something on the screen. Aside from that, because it's made out of brass, what's really cool is that it starts to brass over time. I don't know if you can see some of this, if it'll come up on camera or not, no. As like the most used areas will start to just kind of like fade away that paint and the brass will start to pop through, which is just really cool, it adds a lot of character, makes it basically, each camera is different because each one kind of wears a little bit differently and just makes it unique and special. The next reason is the image quality. Though this is, you know, at this point, you know, a, was it 11 12 year old camera uh, and the sensor is definitely um, just older it's an older design the images coming out of this thing are just amazing I don't know there's something about the Leica color science um, for just photographs like when it comes to color photography it's just really really great really natural pleasing skin tones the images are vivid I think the right amount of contrast not a little over contrasting not under it just I've had a really enjoyed editing these photos aside from just like being fully manual i do sometimes miss focus but aside from that i just i really enjoy editing these photos and posts i really don't have to do a lot to them and i've been happy with all of them the specs i'll throw some of the specs of the sensor on there but i think it's a 24 megapixel 24 megapixel cmos sensor i believe this was the first m to get that sensor really really great images coming out of this even though it's you know significantly older i do like doing a lot of black and white this sensor has just been really really great for that but again like if you enjoy shooting color uh the colors are really really great too i have wanted to get an m monochrome but uh, the moment you put monochrome on there those just skyrocket in price so i haven't got one of those so i've been just fine converting all my color images to black and white and they just have looked really, really great Final reason for why I like to carry this camera every single day is just that it inspires me to go shoot, to take photos. I've had a lot of different cameras before in the past. I've had um, different film point and shoots. I've had different, you know, larger Sony mirrorless setups with really, really nice lenses, really, really nice cameras. While those are great, it didn't really inspire me to go out and shoot all that much. I do this as a hobby. I'm not a professional photographer, but um, I just enjoy going out. I enjoy, I want to document my family as my my kids grow and as and some of those bigger setups you know were a little bit harder to carry those around every single day uh and so I, they often just sat in my bag or they sat on my nightstand and they just didn't go out with me this being you know what it is like it's it's not that big um it's compact and again the reasons i listed above it's also you know a lot of people know the leica m red dot uh the leica red dot and so it sparked a couple of conversations. I got to meet some really interesting, cool people just like being out in the supermarket or other people just carrying their Leicas and getting the chat. And just uh, there's a lot of really cool people out there um, just trying to make photographs, just trying to document their lives. And yeah, this camera just really inspires me to go out and to do that. You know, I've captured so many more photos um, in the last year that I've owned this camera than I have previously. Whether it's this camera for you or it's another camera, whatever camera inspires you to go shoot, it's, those are special. And definitely lean into those and uh, just make photographs, make moments, make memories. That's pretty much it for this video. Thanks again for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.